2007 not only marks the 12th year of the existence of the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, it also brings us a step closer to the realization of a dream to establish a hospital for children based in Houting. Only three children's hospitals serve this continent with its population of 741 million, two in Egypt and one in Cape Town. When compared with countries like Australia, Germany, and Canada, who each boast 19 or more facilities, this is not enough. Children of Southern Africa, too, have a right to be cared for and to receive the best medical treatment available when they are ill, and to receive treatment that compares with the best in the world. The Children's Hospital will be a credible demonstration of the commitment of African leaders to place the rights of children at the forefront. Nothing less would be enough. Children are not adults waiting to become, but are human beings in their own right, deserving of all the care, support and protection of society from the very moment they are born. For too long, the children of Southern Africa have been deprived of care designed to address their specific medical needs. Too many opportunities have been lost and too many lives have been affected by insufficient child-centered medical facilities in Africa. I'm thrilled that the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund is establishing a children's hospital to complement the children's health facilities that already exist but which have far too few beds to serve the children of South Africa, let alone those children in our region and beyond who are in desperate need of health care. This is a wonderful gesture by Madiba and the fund established by him for the specific benefit of the most vulnerable in society, our children. God be praised. Centres of excellence have been identified to be part of the children's hospital, including an oncology centre, a cardiothoracic centre, a pulmonology centre, a diabetes and endocrine centre, as well as a craniofacial disorder centre. The need for a children's hospital in the urban and commercial hub of Southern Africa is clear. We need to develop a referral hospital in the area for high-level tertiary specialist medical care to be given to the children in this the ever-expanding metropolitan environment of Johannesburg and the Witwatersrand. The investor of the Witwatersrand plays an integral role in providing health care in the six hospitals that form part of, of our academic cluster. The children's hospital will add to that service by creating a facility that will complement the excellent work of the Red Cross Children's Hospital in Cape Town. This initiative unequivocally deserves support from all those who are concerned about the expert health care of the children who need specialist care. The Children's Hospital will be dedicated to Mr. Nelson Mandela and is part of his legacy to children. We are very committed in trying to help uh, support the new goal of setting up the children's hospital and for us from two perspectives one helping in the fundraising and also helping to create i think more health education health literacy for children uh, which is something we're very committed to and so we would like to work very much with your ceo yeah. and help to establish uh, a long-term partnership yes no we appreciate that we do want uh, people who are respected because they are respected because uh, 
largely because of the service which they gave uh, to the community. Yeah. And uh, the more we have such persons, the more progress humanity is going to, uh, to make. And I'm very happy to hear that uh, we have such uh, people amongst us. And uh, I hope uh, they will be able to teach others how the leadership in matters of this nature uh, is rendered. And uh, it is important to learn from people who have ability to do something that is going to help the community. Mm. And, uh, and I'm very happy that uh, we have uh, such leaders here. Gauteng is the most densely populated province of South Africa and is also the economic and transportation hub of Southern Africa. The Children's Hospital is best positioned in this province, not only for the children of South Africa, but the entire SADC region. The plans to establish a children's hospital brings into sharp focus the declared commitment by our past president Nelson Mandela and our president Mr. Thabo Mbeki to put children first. There can be no better opportunity for the continent to demonstrate this commitment than seeing its leaders lending the support of their good offices towards the development of a child-centered, state-of-the-art health facility. We certainly are all challenged to make our share of contribution in ensuring that the gap between declaration and actual implementation is bridged, and the building of a hospital for children will shine like a beacon of commitment for children in Africa. The establishment of a dedicated children's hospital draws inspiration from child-centered values that should spur determined support and joint action from economic and development policy makers. The focus of that action places the well-being of our children in the forefront of our plans for the future. The concept of a new dedicated children's hospital is both an inspired and an inspiring vision. The prospects of this success will be an expression of Nelson Mandela's legacy to the well-being of children and will represent the highest point in changing the way society treats the defenseless and the youngest in times of illness. The Nelson Mandela Children's Fund is charged with planting an inspiring vision for both our country as well as the rest of the continent of Africa. Our goal is to facilitate the establishment of a child-centered referral hospital to deliver specialized tertiary and quaternary care to sick children, produce the best research, and provide the best pediatric training for professionals. We believe the children of Southern Africa have the right to the best medical care and we pledge ourselves the establishment of a second dedicated children's hospital for a combined population of 238.8 million people in the Sadek region. This step brings the country and the continent a little closer to meeting its increasing health care demands. The resounding support and shared commitment of our donors and stakeholder community indicates that the realization of this inspired vision is within our reach. The Nelson Mandela Children's Fund has consulted with many stakeholders, both here and abroad, and they have added their voices to mine with a resounding yes to the concept of a dedicated children's facility in Gauteng. Government, medical professionals, donors, and parents alike all agree that the need is not a luxury, 
but a vital necessity that can no longer be delayed. The fund, under the guidance of its trustees and through the tireless commitment of its CEO, Ms. Mongele Mkabela, remains a positive motivating force and an obvious platform to take up the challenge to build a hospital dedicated to the youngest members of our society. This demonstrates that not only are we a nation that sleeps to dream, but that we are also capable of waking up to the demands of tomorrow. I thank you for your commitment to this wonderful initiative and ask for your continued support as we work together to take one step further in our efforts to changing the way society treats its most precious asset, our children. As it strives to change the way society treats its children and youth, the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund will, with your support, turn the dream of so many for a dedicated children's hospital into reality.